worries last night were torsional stiffness and size for a big man. Hey guys, I'm Sev. And I'm Marin. And this, this is Sideways, Sideways Gear, Gear guys. guys. Today we're going to review the K2 Party Platter. We've been enjoying a nice meat and cheese platter and some fresh beverages from Caribou Brewing. We're going to talk about this board. My initial thoughts, I was a little bit reserved about this. Wasn't too excited. You know, the riding is better than my uh, my first perspectives. You know, shorter board, it's a 150. I'm about a 58 to 55 guy. And so being about five to eight centimeters shorter, it's kind of like, you know, you don't got a back end on it. But the really thing that uh, surprised me was a pop for such a short board. Uh, I was blown away at the pop from the first run I stood on this board. It, uh, from the first roller I cracked an ollie on, I knew that there was something in this that I could definitely tap into and enjoy. Uh, on top of that, it's quick edge to edge, it carves like a mother, and once you figure out the balance point on it, it becomes a really, really fun board all over the mountain. It's a little bit more centered in the balance points, more like skateboarding. You can't lean over too far each way, but also you gotta sit down a little bit more, which is fun. You know, it's it's it makes you work a little bit, but it also activates the snowboard really good when you have to work a little bit harder. It's a lot of fun when you get that the side hits and pound into the bit of a crud. It works really well. You usually don't get that with a, a shorter board like this, but it handles itself very, very well. It, uh, it does, it, it carves really hard, it digs a trench. It's super fun in the tight trees. Having that little tail there makes it pivot really nicely. You can get in and out of tight spots. Uh, and then having that big scoop up front, it doesn't matter how much snow or chop or car is in front of you, it's gonna push right through that every single time. I rode this board on opening day at Baker and opening day at Baker this year was super, super deep. So we got everything from deep freshies right through to chopped out cry at the end of the day and this thing rode like a champ from chair one to whatever chair we ended on. <laughs> It was really good, even uh, with over the rollers, the pop riding switch wasn't like too strange. And like Marin said, the really highlight of it is through the trees quickness is really good off the back end. But the pop and slash of this thing is it really its highlight. You can like slap some poles, spray some signs really quickly, you know, kind of ride like a little bit of a jerk on it. You know what I mean? It does have a nice loose tail and you can definitely throw those slashes and, and sprays out there. If, if you're the kind of guy who likes to spray his buddies or spray skiers or spray snowshoers on the side of the trail, this board has a ton of back end power for that. It's not so much if you're jumping off big stuff and need to add a little extra kick off the back to make sure that you're not wheeling back onto your hand, but for laying down uh, fun little spray carves and whatnot, this thing is a ton of fun. And the best thing is to do is to, you know, figure yourself out, buy the board you want, and something like this, if you have that skate style, you really highlight this board a lot. And, you know, go out, grab one, try it out, bore your buddies, you know, and, you know, hit those demo days up, because that's what we do here to, to try these boards out.